What's good guys, it's your boy Password Dog here and in this video I'm going to be exploring the beautiful city of Santa Marta. Located on the Caribbean coastal side of Colombia, this beautiful beach town has a ton to offer. Only four hours away from Cartagena and a two hour bus ride from Bedinkia. I came straight here from Bedinkia, took a bus, only cost me 30,000 pesos which is $8 USD and decided to take a quick day trip just to explore the city of Car uh, Santa Marta and a lot of people have been saying a lot of good things about it and I wanted to come see for myself. Okay. I didn't get a chance to, I was trying to find my shoe. And I gotta say, I'm quite impressed with Santa Marta. I will actually live in this city. I can see this city being a nice retirement spot for a lot of people. There's still a lot more to be developed in this city. I see a lot of construction, but in the near future, I can see the big potential this city has to offer. And it will be a big tourism destination within the next five years. This city is a lot more economical compared to Cartagena. So it's a very popular destination for Colombian people to go on vacation, very family oriented, great place to take your girlfriend type vibes. Also, it's a great place for the backpacker adventure types. A lot to explore in this city. You have the Tyrona National Park, which is a beautiful beach national park and it's very popular tourist destination you have the city of minka which is extremely popular and the lost city of trek which is kind of like a machu picchu lost city ruin adventure mountainous vibe and if you're the adventure type santa marta has a diverse range of activities to do from the city the beach to the mountains so if you are into adventure this city is your spot Yeah, we're about to take a little boat tour in Santa Marta. Get a view of the whole town, the whole city. I like Santa Marta, but if I had to choose between Santa Marta and Cartagena, I would pick Cartagena because there's just a lot more girls down there, a lot more options, a lot more better, a better party scene in Cartagena than it is in Santa Marta. Santa Marta, like I said previously, is more for the family uh, backpacker adventure guys. It's, uh, I will come back here with my girlfriend. Like I will bring a girl out here chill in santa marta is very economical go to tyrona national park and have a good time over there but as a single man it's um uh, it's gonna be uh, a lot more challenging to i like the women of santa marta i like the women of this region Berenkia, santa marta costeña girls these girls are some of the hottest chicks in colombia like is that perfect blend between not white not black right in the middle very bronze golden light skinned chicks that are in this region and i just noticed a common trend that these girls tend to have bigger uh melons they're very uh top heavy more in this region and you gotta if you really wanna like i said like in uh just all in colombia in general you just want to network and you really got to just know Spanish and network with people because staying on the coastal area, which I recommend, 
staying by the Malacón on Santa Marta. You want to get your hotel in this area. But you really want to know the real Santa Marta. It's not on this coastal side. It's way more into the city. And to go travel in these areas, you really need to network. You really need to know people. But the women in this area are very beautiful. Right in, like I said, right in the middle, light skin, not white, not black, right in the middle. Bronze, very beautiful women here. But it's a more family oriented, more take your girlfriend type of vibe. This city is very cheap. It's a lot more cheaper than uh, Cartagena. So it's a lot more economical. You can get a nice place here. About 500, 600 bucks a month. You can get a really nice place, maybe even less unfurnished. And you got the beach and you got the adventure and they got nice restaurants. So it's, I really, really like Santa Marta. But if you had to choose top cities, I will prefer Cartagena unless you're coming here with your girlfriend. But if you're a single guy, Cartagena is the better route to go. If you really want to take like a couple day a day trip, or you want to stay out here for two days, you can always take a bus from Cartagena to Santa Marta, only four hours away from Kia, only two hours away. So it wouldn't be bad to spend a couple days, get a hotel, spend a couple days here and have a good time here and, and go on the adventure side for a while. But overall... Really like Santa Marta, but there's a lot more development that needs to happen. And on top of that, you really do need to network to really get into the real Santa Marta, which is deeper into the city and not more on the coastal area side. But overall, I like it, man. Stay safe. Like, watch out for scammers. Watch out for the scammy people out there trying to sell you stuff and just swindle you out of your money just be cautious of that but overall man i like it man so i give this city a a seven out of ten but if i come back here i'm gonna make sure i bring a girl with me type shit you know what i mean so that's my point of view of santa martha really nice city nice beach town lots to explore a lot of adventure and i would definitely come back here but i'm bringing a girl with me and that's my point of view of santa martha would you guys visit santa martha let me know in the comments how do you feel and if you have visited santa martha before in the past what is your experience let me know in the comment section below it's your boy password dog if you haven't already like subscribe to the video follow me for more content it's your boy password dog and i'm out peace